Hey, it's Diane Vivas here with a, a Movement of the Month, Austin Fit Magazine. And what we're going to do is we're here at Total Athlete. We've got Greg and Alvis, the trainers out here. And we've got Kathy Sharp helping out with the demo today. She's going to be actually helping me show how do we actually prepare and build up to the uh, kettlebell swing. And we're not actually going to teach you the kettlebell swing. I want you looking for the great technic technicians and coaches that really teach the swing really well. It's a technical movement. You want to make sure that you really master that before you start adding load. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to prepare to work up to that. And so the very first thing you have to do is have a great hip hinge. And so what Kathy's going to do is she's got contact with the tailbone, the mid-back, and right up here at the head. And this is a common tool we use for feedback so that she keeps a nice, straight, neutral torso position. And then she's going to reach back with the hips. Notice how the upper leg and the torso create a V, not an L. That's the way we know we've got a nice hip hinge and she's really loading the posterior chain, which is going to be your stronger muscles. That's so important for the more dynamic movements that we're building to. All right, that's awesome. Come right back up. And so the very next thing we're going to do is actually place that hip hinge into a deadlift. Now with the deadlift, what we're going to do here is actually raise the floor to her so that she can focus on placing the weight right between her legs. And she starts in an upright stance, neutral position. She hip hinges down to the weight and she's going to really crush the handle to engage the lat, make sure she's got great static motor control of the upper body, and then she's going to push through the floor and drive those hips forward. It's a nice vertical plank that she finishes with all the way up into that position, and then she's going to come back down, release it right back into that same position. This is going to build the strength through that hip hinge, okay? Now we're going to get more dynamic. Right here, we're going to use a battle rope to basically first She's going to send a wave. We've got a partner on the other end of the rope that's going to receive it. But she's going to be sending the wave nice and quick where she gets good full extension and she uses that hip hinge and it really teaches and trains the movement for a more dynamic swing. Good. Just really quick. There she goes, right there. Nice, good wave, sending it. Single. You'll notice she's using the single rope. We can use a static anchor or partner. Awesome, right there. Okay, you'll notice she wants to maintain that hip hinge on every single one of those. It's the dynamics of getting uh, sending away, but now we're going to challenge that stability. The stability through the torso, she's going to receive it in a nice athletic stance, and now we're going to have her partner send her a wave, and she's got to stabilize through that motion. Good job. Great way to work partners, really dynamic. It just gives you great feedback so that the partners can work together on both ends of the rope. And done. All right. That's it for this month. We'll see you next time.